This is the WAI 1000 standalone tester. This tester allows the user to test alternators with multifunction and COM type regulators by allowing the user to take the place of the ECU and inject the protocol of the desired regulator. The WA1000 comes with the 1000 in cable harnesses to allow the user to test in car applications or in this case on a test bench. The regulator we are testing today is a LIN regulator. The first step in testing is connecting the power of the WA1000 shown here to your battery or in this case a simulated battery source. The next step is to connect a signal source shown here to the WA1000. Since LIN is a single wire interface, only one connection is required. In this case, the green wire is connected to the COM port of the WA-1000. Next in this process is to either start your car, or in this case, power up your test bench. At this point, the WA-1000 is powering up. Once the power up process is complete, a selection screen will show showing you all the possible protocols to select from. At this moment, there is no selection made, so the regulator is at its default set point. To make selections, you use the dial to the right of the WA-1000 to scroll through all the possible selections, either counterclockwise or clockwise. We are testing a COM type regulator, so you dial until you get to COM. When you press the button, what will happen is, since this tester has two types of COM, which is LIN and BSS, it's going to search for which protocol it's using, which this is doing now. Also, LIN has two types of protocol. One is LIN1 and the other is LIN2. In this case, as shown in the upper left-hand corner, this is a LIN1.3 regulator. The, now below that will also be displayed, since this is an intelligent regulator, it will show you the manufacturer of the regulator and the class. Next, over here, you will see the desired set point, below that is the actual measure set point, and below that is the duty cycle. To change the setting, the set point, you return to the dial to the right and dial either clockwise or counterclockwise. If the regulator is operating properly, the voltage will track. If I increase by going clockwise, you'll see the upper set point increasing and then you'll notice below that the measures point is tracking. If you dial the dial in the counterclockwise direction, you'll notice that the voltage turns, the set point turns down and the measure voltage tracks down. All along with that, the duty cycle is also following. If this function performs properly, then the regulator system, regulator and alternator is charging properly. At this point, the test is complete.